Here we go again. Oh, no, not again. Been How long have we been doing this? Hello and welcome to You've Seen It Before, movie reviews of connections in mind. Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow is a 2004 film directed by Kerry Conran and stars Jude Law, Gwyneth Paltrow, Angelina Jolie, and a host of others, as including a posthumous credit from Laurence Olivier. And this film is about the story of Sky Captain in a alternate universe in 1939 when the U. Uh, the U. S. is preparing. Uh, the world is not quite uh, ready to go to World War II just yet, and New York is attacked by a uh, large a armada of large mechanical robots, and uh, they do mysterious things. And it's up to uh, Sky Captain in, uh, to just unravel the mystery of Totenkopf. Now, as this is a 2004 film, uh, this obviously will uh, contain many spoilers of uh, Sky Captain: The World of Tomorrow as well as certain other films as well. There will be a full list in the description below. And if you've not seen Sky Captain from the World of Tomorrow yet and want to wait until you have, stop the video at this point and come back later. But with these things in mind, though, let's begin. So Sky Captain from the World of Tomorrow has a few... Uh, it is very reminiscent of uh, the adventure serials of the 1940s and 50s-ish, um, and it has a very comic book feel to it as well. Now, this is very reminiscent of another film series that harkens back to those adventure serials, mainly Indiana Jones. Uh, uh, that franchise also harkens back to those adventure serials uh, based around a hero character, a female uh, side character who is a love interest who has some past with the, that character. Um, he's good in gunfight, he's good in the fist fight, he has many friends around the world, and the uh, the adversaries that he is forced to endure uh, to face often have a superior technological advantage, or their uh, the nature of their threat is very much out of this world, or supernatural, or um, very out of the ordinary. In this case, it is Totenkopf and his robots. Uh, in Indiana Jones, of course, we've got the Ark, the Holy Grail, the Temple of Doom, etc. Next, uh, Sky Captain the World of Tomorrow also has a certain feel of a James Bond style uh, film in that there is a bit of detective work that goes on in this film, but more specifically, this film has a lot in common with uh, the James Bond film Moonraker, in which uh, the evil, uh, the, the bad guy Drax's plan is to essentially destroy the world and save a certain a uh, collection of animals for uh, fauna, and um, start over with a civilization in space, and uh, then perhaps one day come back and repopulate in uh, his own image. Very similar in Captain in Sky Captain, in which uh, the villain Totenkopf has a arc in which he is going to launch it, uh, a rocket, which will launch into space carrying two of every kind of animal and plant, as well as his own uh, genetically engineered version of man and woman, uh, in order to start a new civilization, and when the rocket reaches the edge of the Earth's space, uh, Earth will be incinerated. So there's an interesting comparison there. Also along that same vein, Sky Captain shares a certain similarity with Titan AE, um, the animated film from Fox, the, uh, both these films feature an ARC ship that goes into space and has the ability to uh, start it over as a civilization for Earth with uh, examples of every living being as well. And um, also, this film, if you watch it through, you'll notice several sound effects are very similar between um, Titan AE and Sky Captain, mainly... Uh, near the end, where Sky Captain is facing the robot henchmen, um, the uh, the sound effect of their anti gravity generators as they're floating around is very almost identical to the sound effect used in Titan AE, 
to denote the flying dread ships. So with these things being said, uh, would I still recommend you see Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow if you have not already? I would say absolutely. This is actually a very important film as well, in that this is the first film to have a uh, completely CG uh, set, essentially. There's, there were very few um, uh, uh, phys physical sets in this film, and it inspired many other films that came out uh immediately after it, most notably Sin City, in its, and in its aesthetic, it has a very CG quality as well. And this has sort of laid the groundwork for all the other films that came since with nearly, uh, nearly completely CG uh, sets. And this is revolutionary at the time. But on uh, a story level, this, stuff, this is just a great movie in general. Um, I would say there's the, the character development is is there. It's not the best in the world, but it's serviceable to the plot. The uh, supporting characters are great. Uh, it doesn't bog you down with a whole lot of science mumbo-jumbo, and not, not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but it can tend to stall, stall a story uh, in order uh, for it to, uh, to, at the sake of plot. And this just kind of uh, has this great pacing all the way throughout. There's great action. There's very few uh, down moments or unimportant uh, pieces of this film um, and overall I would say if you like Indiana Jones you'll definitely like uh, uh, Sky Captain the World of Tomorrow so there you have it there's my review of Sky Captain the World of Tomorrow why did I do this now for a 13 year old film at this point just because I needed to uh, uh, I liked the film I saw it recently I needed a uh, segment to fill uh, this time in this time of the year because I was going to do a review of Darkest Hour, which was released on November 22nd, but unfortunately Colorado does not get Darkest Hour in theaters until December 22nd. And of course by that time Star Wars The Last Jedi will be out and that will be the next one as well. So that won't happen for a little while, but I will be catching an earlier screening of Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle out uh, December 8th, and I'll be posting a review both a video review and a written review of that as well. So look out for those. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate whatever audience I can get. And just remember, there's nothing new under the sun. And yes, you have seen it before.